President, what do you say to Vladimir Putin's threat of war? I'll you required to let speak, okay? That's what I said. Good idea? Well, what do you say to Vladimir Putin's sir? threat of war, sir? It's a well, serious threat. I, you got to be quiet, I'm going to make a statement, okay? All right, anyway. Mr. Prime Minister, welcome. Welcome back to the White House. Welcome, Sid. There's no issue of global consequence for the United States and the United States. We can't work in the And we're going to discuss some of these things right now. And first, Ukraine. I want to thank you for, uh, for the UK's leadership in this country. The United States is trying to stand with you, help you stand and defend against Russia's unspoiled aggression. And it's clear that Putin will not make it through, Putin will not prevail in this war and people of Ukraine. Second, the Middle East. Yeah. Today we'll discuss our work to secure a deal in the Middle East and the East and many hostages. We're going by Hamas, bring immediate ceasefire, increase the flow of humanitarian aid to Gaza. And thirdly, we're going to be talking about the end of the Pacific, knowing the more important, our future, and I'm so proud to be our office partnership with Australia and with, with Australia. In the last three years, we made the region more free, open, and secure. Mr. Premier, thank you again for being here. President, thank you very much for those words. Thank you for the invitation to be back here just two months after our last meeting here. And it's really important for us, great allies, that special relationship, to have this time to talk about the global issues you have just identified, starting, of course, with Ukraine, where I think the next few weeks and months could be crucial, very, very important for us to support Ukraine in this vital war of freedom. Um, and so I look forward to discussing that with you. The Middle East, of course, again, vital over the coming weeks and months and elsewhere in the world. I think that historically we've shown the strength of our relationship, that we are strategically aligned, uh, we have common cause on these global issues, and therefore it's very important us, uh, for us to have this opportunity to talk them through, not just um, as a matter of tactics, but also the wider strategy that underpins them. So, Thank you for the invitation. It's very good to be here again. Good to have you back. What do you say to Vladimir Putin's threat of war, Mr. President? I don't think much about Vladimir Putin. Mr. Mr. Do you take that threat seriously? Mr. President, I'll get that little piece of danger for...